Welcome to Mexico's most recognized paradise. Cancun, perhaps the best-known destination in all of Mexico, sits on a 13-mile-long, 396-meter L-shaped island that squares off the north coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 attractions and things to do in Cancun. And wait till you see the top three that we're going to be showing in this video. Something you might not ever have even have thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Oh, before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel and pressing that join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. So if you're ready, let's cut to the Cancun chase. At 10, cruising to Isla Mujeres. Another destination that is closely associated with Cancun is the lovely Isla Mujeres, the island of women. Located about 13 kilometers from the mainland and just a short hydrofoil ride from the pier at the convention center, Cancun Center, this long, skinny island is just 7 kilometers long and 650 meters wide, is particularly popular among surfers for the larger waves experienced on its east coast, while divers love the abundant marine life surrounding the numerous coral reefs of Garafon Natural Reef Park. Next up at 9, getting lost at Urbano Caba Park. In the heart of Cancun is Urbano Caba Park, or Parque Caba, also known as the Caba Ecological Park. This natural oasis is a popular spot for a stroll, a jog, or a picnic, and consists of a two kilometer long trail that cuts through a mix of tall palm trees and lush gardens. The park is particularly popular for families traveling with kids due to its playground and petting zoo. There's plenty of wildlife to watch out for too, including iguanas, the raccoon-like coates, deer, a type of small wild pig called a peccary, and even the occasional spider monkey. Oh, I thought going to say spider then for a minute. It's a particularly good spot for bird watchers to visit, especially during migration season, when species from as far as the US and Canada winter here. Other highlights include the Casamaya Museum, a tiny yet fascinating attraction with its history of the development of the region. At 8, climbing the scenic tower and carret. A must-do while in Cancun is to take a trip to the scenic tower, the Torre Esquenica. Something of a landmark in the hotel district due to its height, it's 110 meters tall, as well as its pencil-thin base, the tower is a fun diversion for those wanting a bird's-eye view of the city, as well as its many beaches and the surrounding coastline. While a set of steep steps can be climbed, by far the best way to reach the top is to simply take a seat in the large round elevator that gradually, as it rises and rotates, becomes an observation deck. It's a particularly attractive structure at night when it's lit up to resemble a Mayan representation of a flower. The tower is in fact part of Caret, an interesting mix of theme park and natural attractions. Entry to the tower is included with Caret admission. Given its 50 or so cultural and natural attractions, you can expect to easily spend a day here exploring the many things to do. Highlights include water-based activities, including a beach and lagoon, plus the chance to explore underground rivers, a coral reef aquarium, a folk museum, and performances of music and dance, an equestrian show, boat tours, and plenty of dining options. Also fun is Ventura Park Cancun, which activities include a zip line, water park, and a dolphin encounter. At 7, enjoying animal adventures. A good place to get a close-up view of the area's rich marine life is at Cancun's interactive aquarium. After donning flippers and a snorkel, you're free to swim around the facility's enclosures, surrounded by numerous species from stingrays to dolphins. The real highlight, however, is the attraction's Swimming with Dolphins experience, an exciting program that allows you to get up close and personal with these gentle sea creatures. Similar programs are also offered at other nearby venues, including Dolphin Discovery and Dolphin RS Cancun. And now at 6, exploring El Meco archaeological site. Another interesting Mayan site that is easily accessible from Cancun's main resort area, this one located at the north end of the main beaches, is the El Meco archaeological site. Originally inhabited around AD 300, it rose to prominence as a Mayan trade center from the 1100s until its decline after the arrival of the Spanish in the 16th century. 
Of particular interest is the 12.5-metre-tall El Castillo, the only pyramid of its kind to have been built in the area. Perched atop the pyramid are the remains of an old temple from which you'll be rewarded with stunning views over the coastline and Isla Mujeres. This easy one hour or so visit is well worth adding to your Cancun itinerary. At 5, diving to the Cancun Underwater Museum. One of the most unusual points of interest in this resort town is the Cancun Underwater Museum. Set up in 2009 in the wake of storm damage to the Cancun National Marine Park, this seabed-based attraction is dedicated to the art of conversation and is a delight for divers to explore. The core of this unique art collection are the more than 500 sculptures spread across two underwater galleries. A few are located on land in a nearby mall, submerged at depths of between 3 and 6 meters and encompassing human figures in a variety of poses. There's even a concrete car. Put together by six artists from Mexico and Britain, the sculptures will ultimately form the basis for new coral reefs. A variety of guided snorkeling and diving tours are available. If diving is not your thing, this remarkable collection can be viewed from the comfort of one of the many glass-bottom tour boats that ply the waters. And number four, stopping at the Maya Museum. Located in the Cancun center, the city's large convention complex, the Maya Museum or Museo Maya de Cancun is an attraction that's certainly worth visiting to learn more about the region's rich history. The largest such museum project since the opening of the Templo Mayor Museum in Mexico City in 1987, this superb attraction does a good job of explaining the ancient roots of the region's Mayan culture from its founding centuries ago right up to the modern day. Highlights include some 350 artefacts spread across three halls, most from in and around Cancun, including skeletal remains found in Tulum that date back 14,000 years, and the remains of the famous 10,000-year-old Woman of the Palms. Other notable exhibits include displays of Mayan architecture and art, including sculptures from Chichen Itza and the adjoining San Miguelito archaeological site. There's also a variety of programming for kids, including art and crafts. And now, at number three, discovering El Rey Maya ruins. If you've room in your Mexico itinerary for another interesting archaeological site, just a few minutes away from the Punta Nizuc end of Cancun are a number of interesting Mayan ruins known as El Rey. Named after a mask found here that was believed to be dedicated to the sun god, the El Rey ruins, or Las Ruinas del Rey, include the remains of some 47 buildings, along with numerous tombs built by the Mayans from AD 900 onwards. Of particular interest are the two main platforms with their temples, once part of the market, which also served as important ceremonial areas. It's well worth taking the time to visit, and many resorts offer inexpensive tours to the site, which is also famous for the large colonies of iguanas that live here. Number 2. Exploring the Mayan ruins of Chichen Itza. Few visitors will want to miss the chance to spend at least a little of their vacation time sightseeing at one or more of the larger Mayan ruins within reach of Cancun. One of the most popular day trips is to the Chichen Itza, three hours west of the beaches and one of Mexico's largest and best restored archaeological sites. Settled by the Mayans more than 1,000 years ago, this UNESCO World Heritage Site includes many famous Chacmul statues, along with important buildings such as the 30-meter-tall El Castillo, one of the country's most famous pyramids. If you're an early riser, you may in fact want to join Chichen Itza and Cenote Swim Tour. This tour starts early and is, well, it's a full day. Hotel pickups are scheduled for 7 a.m., wow, but are worth it for the chance to explore the famous ruins. These fun day-long excursions include the important sites, a bevy of fascinating facts, a buffet lunch, a visit and swim at a nearby cenote, and round-trip transportation. And finally, at number one, drumroll please, visiting Cancun's beautiful beaches. As you might expect, most of Cancun's top resorts are built with direct access to the beaches, known in Spanish as playas. 
you'll enjoy stunning views over the sparkling, crystal-clear waters that make this destination so popular with tourists seeking a memorable Mexico vacation. Cancun, in fact, consists of a number of long stretches of beach, and while regular visitors may have their preferences, it's certainly hard to go wrong. They're all nice and have something great to offer. Among the most popular players are De Las Perlas, Juventud, Linda, Langosta, Tortugas, Caracol and Chacmul, some of them lying alongside the Boulevard Cancun and the Paseo Cuculcan, all the way from the city boundary. Of these, Tortugas, Caracol and Chacmul tend to be the busiest. Also of interest is the 7.5 km long Paseo Cuculcan, alongside which is an 18-hole public golf course known as Poc Ta Poc. Not quite sure what that's about. And there you have the top 10 things to do in Cancun. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your Cancun loving friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time, amigos.